I'm Andrew Dish Nation. You guys, I do this wave for every, and I think I'm Vanna White, even though, you know, I wish, but I know I'm not. Love it. Um, Angelina, I was at the premiere the other night and I saw you there with your kids. And I'm just curious, what do they think about seeing mom kick ass and take names on that big screen in this film? When they first saw it, what was their reaction? They loved the toaster scene in the end. <laughs> and they said that was the most like me because I'm terrible in the kitchen. Um, they, you know, they've seen me, they're my children. So they've seen me at my strongest and they know me, somebody who fights for things, but they've also seen me at my weakest and emotional and broken and many, many things as, as you know, you know, somebody close. And so I think, I think it was interesting for them to see. And I hope a lot of people see that, that you can have both, you know, that you can be a person. It's not just about being perfectly strong and everything's fine. You you can have trauma, you can be weighed down, you can struggle with your mental health and you can still be a great strong person. And um, to be honest, I think what may maybe meant the most to them was seeing Gil Gilgamesh's character take care of me. So that's a very good segue, Angie, because I do, do you, I, I mean, you're producing this thing for me basically. <laughs> um, Don, do you still feel protective over Angelina? Is there still part of you that wants to protect her in some ways? Yeah, of course. You know, we became eternal friends, so I will. <laughs> and Gilgamesh cooked for her too. So, um, Don, relationship really. I mean, well, I'll, I'll, you can make you can barely make toast. So, I mean, I guess this <laughs> <Exactly>. this <laughs> makes sense. Um, Don, talk to me about come you know breaking into Hollywood in one of the biggest films of the year. What does that mean to you as a performer? What does that mean for your culture? What what does it mean mean to you? It's just, it is just so cool. And I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I'm so grateful and so excited. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly honored to be, to be part of this MCU and then uh, part of this family with Angie. And then uh, uh, this is my first Hollywood movie, maybe, uh, yeah, and then this is, I feel like this is my new beginning of my career. Mm -hmm. So I got to say it's a second half start, so. Amazing. Um, Angelina, now tell me if I'm wrong because you'll know the answer to this because I'm watching you on screen and I'm like, there's so many similarities between Thena and Lisa from Girl Interrupted. I just, mm -hmm. I felt like there's a lot of similarities there. Tell me if I'm crazy, am I wrong? How did you feel about that? Well, the similarities are probably just me. Valid, valid. Not me as the actor, but just me and my own struggle for what I um, search for or where I feel pain or where I feel uh, I carry my own trauma or darkness. Um, so it, you're right in that it pulls forward something that um, is, a, is a raw, a more raw side of me that's uh, private usually. I'm gonna wrap this up, ask you both. Angelina, what is your superpower in real life? What do you do really, really well? I, oh God, that's kind of a, I will, if there's something that I think, that I think is something that needs to be fought for or some injustice or something that, or somebody I love needs, I will, it doesn't, it's very natural for me to just, fight to the end and it feels uh, so I think that's my I wouldn't just say motherhood it's just something in me that's very I can't help it so that's that's I like that part of me and Don what is your superpower in real life I don't have one. Oh, he has many <laughs> Angie what is his superpower well, I think you are protected. I think you're a protector. I yeah, think you yeah, are no. very, not just you're very physically strong, mm. but I think you have that, uh, you know, I think in some way we're similar in that if there's something that you need to fight for or protect, it's not, it's not even if you can do it, it's just you're going to give it everything yeah. you have. Yeah, what I like the, uh, what I like the most about Gilgamesh is uh, he, uh, he stands up for a, uh, what he believes in mm -hmm. yeah so uh i all i always been try to be a person like that so maybe maybe that yeah 
Awesome. Congratulations, guys. The film is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Andrew Sama, what do you think of my Vanna White wave? What do you think of this? What do you think of that? It's nice. It's I, I love the color. It's the right? color. color. <laughs> um, now, Sama, I mean, this role was written for a man in the comics, and you freaking took it and made it your own. So kind of talk to me about taking on this role that was originally written for a man. The whole thing was surreal. It was originally written for a man. Originally, the superheroes are not in their 50s. They're not uh, Latino, Arab, you know? They're not curvy women. <laughs> They're not necessarily very feminine bodies, you know, with not, not any muscles on them. And so it was a trip just to, to her that they wanted me for it. And, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's been amazing. That was just the first surprise. It keeps surprising me. The people I work with surprise me in a good way. The director, my, my co-stars, Marvel itself. I thought it was gonna be this like big machine that was cold and, you know, bureaucratic. And no, they made me feel at home and they were lovely. <laughs> Have you gotten any of your toys, any of your Ajax? Okay, that was a, not a good surprise. I, I don't know what's the matter with my, 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 my little doll. I'm like this. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a good one, that one. Uh, it's not a good one. No. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but now I'm going to go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. No. So for all so, the good things I have to say, not the doll. <laughs> So for the next one, are we going to get a redesign or are you going to push for a redesign of your doll? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think it's so bizarre that it might become like a major collectible piece. Just right. as it's weird. Weird <laughs> enough to be a collectible. We'll see. Um, in real life, what superpower does Salma Hayek have? In real life, how would you say, what superpowers do you possess, would you say? Meditation. I want to get into that. What, how does it make you feel? Oh, however I want to feel. If I want to feel relaxed, I can feel relaxed. If I want to feel vibrant and energetic, you can feel that. You can feel powerful. Um, you can feel like you can connect with anything, with animals, with nature, with people, or you can feel like you can go into a bubble. That's the major superpower. It's like playing with energy. It really is very similar to a superpower. Kind of. Um, now, I can't talk to you without asking you about that owl because you have the most famous owl now in the world. I want to know how is the owl doing? Where is the owl? And does the owl have superpowers? The owl loves to go and meditate with me in my little room that, by the way, is the same blue. And uh, actually... Sometimes I do it with a teacher and he has a couple of pictures of me with the owl on my head as I'm meditating. And I don't put it on my head. She's, she just likes it. And she likes the music and she's good. She's in London. I'm missing her. I'm going to see her very soon. Does she have a superpower? She does have a superpower. You know, they don't drink water. Owls. Oh. They that. take it all from the animal that they eat. But for some reason, my owl has the superpower to identify really excellent wine. <laughs> because I've been around with wine, he doesn't drink it. But there is one type of wine that it's one of the top in the world, maybe the best wine in the world. And if you take a glass with that wine, he'll, he'll dig his head in it. Of course, my friend said, I don't care, I'm drinking it anyway. But they do get a, they can get scared when she just like dives into it. I don't know why she does that. You know so what? She can identify, that's her superpower. She's Good a wife. sommelier owl. Congratulations, Sama. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Thank Andrew you. Dish Nation. Richard, what do you think of my wave? What do you think of this? What do you think of that? I'm not sure about that, but you look super sharp and that's great. I appreciate the effort and the outfits. I, I dressed to see you guys. I thought, you know, we were supposed to be in person today. So I got 
my blazer on and the whole thing, but oh. this is just as good. Um, Gemma, I'm going to start with you because, you know, you're no stranger to the MCU. And I feel like Cersei has, she's got this kind of uninhibited swag. Like she's not overly boisterous. She just kind of like does her thing kind of on the DL. Talk to me about kind of Cersei's swag. Well, yeah, you're right. She's not, um, she doesn't, uh, she's not an attention seeker. Uh, she's... <laughs> not look at anyone else she's uh she's interesting because she kind of doesn't even know the extent of her own power at the beginning of the film it's something that she discovers uh she then leans into it and it's a really interesting journey to explore as an actor um yeah I love that about that about her I love the fact that she she's kind of a reluctant superhero in a way um Richard talk to me about the scenes when you're shooting the things out of your eyes like what are you giving like a blue steel when, when the camera like what are you are you squinting like what are you doing what i'm doing is before every take turning to Gemma and saying does this look dumb do i look stupid should i do it like this do i need to do more should i do less should i have big eyes or should i be squint that was my conversations all the time and just having Gemma tweak it so that it didn't look too dumb and then trusting on the the wonderful vfx team to make me look cool so Gemma, are you a good acting coach? Would should should actors then are you for hire now these days? <laughs> just for just for laser beam eyes, yeah. That's <laughs> um Richard, who would you say is the biggest prankster on set? Because there was a lot of people on this set. Who is the biggest jokester, would you say? Biggest jokester? Uh, I don't know. It was one of those jobs that I mean, you've seen the film, so you know the nature of it. There's not a lot of time for jokes in there. So um, between everyone dying and me swinging off cranes on on uh, on wires and, and then Gemma plunging into pools of water, there wasn't a lot of time for gags, sadly. That's fair enough. Um, I thought about this a lot, Gemma, on things I would like to disintegrate um, and it's the list goes on and on. And obviously your character can disintegrate the shit out of anything. Yeah. So. Talk to me on your list, your personal list. If you could disintegrate things, where what would those be and why? Oh my God, leaf blowers. I, I mean, what, what's wrong with a rake? Just, they are so loud and they will always, I mean, yeah. Up one way on the street, down the other way on the street. Yeah, I would just get rid of those. Richard, I'm gonna ask you the same. What would you like to disintegrate? Hopefully it's not me. It's not you, it's traffic. I would disintegrate traffic. I'm so over it. Awesome. Thank you guys. I really enjoyed the film. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank you. I Thanks. am Andrew Dish Nation. This is the wave I do, Lauren and Kumail. Just get used to it. I think I'm Vanna White, even though I know I'm not, but it is what it is. Um, okay, Kumail, I'm going to start with you because I feel like you're going to be honest with me. You know, in the promos and the trailer, there's this scene of you guys and you're, you know, in your outfits and the, the hair is blowing and you're all like standing there like this. So what I want to know is, is there like a Beyonce type industrial fan just blowing at you guys? And are you guys looking around like being like, how are we here? Are you laughing? Like, are you serious? Take me through that. There is a giant fan. You're exactly right. And you know, it looks like we're standing at the edge of a cliff. We actually are standing at the edge of a cliff. And it's actually a very tough shoot. It looks so cool, but you're your sand is blowing in your face and you know, you're just sort of like standing there, eyes closed and then they go action and then you open your eyes and pretend like you don't have like dust blasting in your face. So it was honestly one of the hardest like days of shooting, just standing there looking cool. And Lauren, how was it for yeah, you? Well, I'm gonna even chime in also, cause it was one of the most exciting moments also because that scene was the first time that all of us saw each other in our superhero costumes. So before we started shooting, we're like, oh my God, looking at each other, like, wait, yours is amazing. And everybody, and then they were like, close your eyes because of the sand, then action. Um, Lauren, I'm, I'm gonna ask you another question is, you know, you're the fastest woman in the Marvel universe now. In your own life, do you find yourself being faster? Like, did that seep into your brain? Do you do shit now super fast? 
No, um, I've always been a runner um, in my own personal life. I've, I'm a runner. I've always been a lazy runner. I would go out for really long, slow runs. And I think after playing Macari, I appreciate my slow running even more. Uh, Kumail, now, you know, in the film, your assistant or your valet, he follows you around with a camera and we capture what goes on in your life. If I was going to follow you around all day with a camera, what am I going to see? What goes on in your life, Kumail? Take me inside. Oh, it's very boring. I do the exact same thing every day. I go to bed at the same time. I wake up at the same time. I eat almost the same thing every day. You do not want to follow me around with a camera because you'll be wasting memory cards. You're not doing like Hollywood fancy things? No, this is the thing. People think Hollywood life is super glamorous. It is every now and then, but it's mostly standing on a cliff trying to not get sand in your eyes. Lauren, what is your superpower in real life? What would you say you possess in real life that is like a superpower, would you say? Um, I guess my cooking? I don't know. I guess it's my superpower in real life. Huh, yeah. I, didn't I can't really cook worse cook. shit, so I... Kudos. Uh, Kumail, what about you? What is your superpower in real life? Oh my God, that's a very tough question. Honestly, I also cook. Um, Lauren, we should, we should cook for each other. Um, but I don't know if I'm good enough to call it a superpower. It's, I'm okay at it, not amazing at it. Oh, video games. I'm very good at video games. If this doesn't work out, I'm going to become a professional gamer and work really hard for very little money. Lauren, how did you keep this film a secret? Because Marvel is obviously shrouded in secrecy and I'm sure your friends want to know, how's the shoot going? How's whatever's going? How do you keep the Marvel secrets, Lauren? I'm not sure how I've done it. Honestly, I don't even know if I did it. <laughs> But I will, I'm just glad that the movie's finally out, that we actually can finally talk about it. Awesome. Congratulations to both of you. I thought the film was fucking awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I love that you guys are in the same room. I'm, I appreciate that wildly. So, hey, guys. Right. <laughs> Hi. Um, all right, Kit, I'm going to start with you. And Leah, feel free to chime in. Um, you know, you don't have superpowers in this thing. And a lot of other, you know, everyone else does. Was that, you know, a point of contention for you? Do you wish you had a superpower? What are your thoughts on that, Kit? I was kind of cool not having superpowers in this. I, I sort of, I, I represent humanity in this. And I was kind of happy with that. It was nice. Do you know what? It was the vast majority of people in this movie have some kind of superpower. And so I was a bit different by not having it. He was the special one. I was the special one. Yes, yeah. I was the special one. So you were the special one. It wasn't Leah. No. No, nope, definitely actually, not. Contrary to popular belief, it was me. It was Dane. <laughs> uh, Leah, I'm going to ask you a very important question. If there was a fight between the Eternals and the Avengers, who would win and why? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I got to stick with my teen, of course. I mean, of course, the Eternals, right? I mean, we have cosmic unlimited energy superpowers from gods i think that we may be more powerful than the avengers i mean i'd like to see that showdown kit what are your thoughts on that um i feel as a human uh <laughs> the uh the avengers would I th i've got to give it at the moment to the avengers okay um <laughs> so so because there's humans in the avengers is that why no they i mean they they saved us us humans so you know i'm uh i'm i'm sticking with loyalty uh leah's leah's shaking her head she's shaking she, yeah she's I'll not comment. into it yeah um <laughs> leah what is your superpower in real life what are you really really good at <laughs> oh gosh I don't, I don't know. This may be kind of weird to say, but like, I'm really good at taking care of animals, I think, yeah. which is, I mean, I have a lot of pets and I love my pets. That's like my passion besides acting. Yeah. It's my bunny. <laughs> Kit, what about you? What are you really, really good at? I am great at uh, table tennis. <laughs> um, and Ping pong. 
ping pong. I'm genuinely very good. Um, Harry Potter trivia um, and being a dad. Those are all valid. Um, I'm going to wrap this up with both of you. You know, there's the scene uh, in the trailer and in the promos where you're standing on the cliff and you've got a Beyonce fan blowing at you guys and you're like, <laughs> like this. What was that like when you all saw each other in your suits? Because I believe that was one of the first times you all kind of came together and were like that. What was that experience like for you? I don't, I remember the experience. I, I don't remember whether or not it was the first time, but I, I do remember that that was the first time we all had like a power pose, you know, in all formation. And it's one of the first shots of the movie. I mean, honestly, it wasn't a very fun day because all that wind was real and it was getting in our eyes and it was freezing cold. And we were just like, we wanted it to be over. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the greatest day, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it was cool to see everyone in costume together. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I love the film. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys.